I know you want to know how to make that thing go round and round and round and round <laughs> and over and over and over. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? This is Wavy Wayne, Sensei, the Pro Tools pimp, back at it again, ready to drop some old jewels on y'all, all right? So today, we got a simple lesson, but it's a very important lesson. It's something that I use just about every single session, and that's looping, all right? How do you set up a loop? How do you loop in Pro Tools? Why would you want to loop? Let's start there, right? Basically, looping is when you have a selection and you want it to repeat over and over and over and over. Now, you could be looping. Maybe you're trying to write to a certain section. Maybe you're EQing a certain section. Maybe you dialing in the right compression on that vocal and you just want it to keep looping over and over, right? Often when I'm mixing, I'll just select the whole song from top to bottom and loop the whole thing from beginning to end over and over and over and over until I feel like I got it right. <laughs> All right, so it's a bunch of reasons that we can loop. You can even loop while you're recording. So let me go ahead, jump right into Pro Tools, show you how to actually enable looping and how to do it, all right? So first thing first, when you're in your Pro Tools session, when you wanna loop, um, you need to make sure that loop playback is enabled, okay? So you can go up to the options menu. There's a few ways to do this. One way is by going to the options menu and choosing loop playback and making sure that there's a check mark there just by clicking it, all right? Um, you just click there and boom. Another way is by using your transport window. So if I hit command numeric one or control numeric one, It'll open up my transport window, which is this little floating window here. And I could actually hold the control key if you're on a Mac, or that's going to be the start key if you're on a PC. All right. And you can just actually cycle through the different modes here on your loop on your play button. So just by holding control and clicking that play, that will allow you to cycle through to um, um, loop playback mode all right you can see that whenever you are in loop playback mode your play arrow will be surrounded by this little circular arrow going around it all right now you might also be looking up in my top in my toolbar here where i have my transport controls and yes this is another way that you can enable loop playback um simply just by holding the control key and clicking you can also just right click on the play button if you want to do it the granny way and then go down and choose loop okay now there's an even faster way. Yes, that's a fact. With just one key, if you got the numeric keypad, you can just hit the number four and that will enable and disable your loop playback. All right, as you see, as I'm hitting that number four, the little loop is uh, being turned on and off, okay? So once my loop playback option is turned on, now to actually uh, make a loop and make my session loop, I need to have a selection. I need to make a, a timeline selection that is at least half a second so it's got to be at least 0 0.5 seconds to loop okay if it's something shorter than that pro tools just going to play it and it's going to stop it's not going to loop okay so um i'm going to make my timeline selection by actually making a edit selection now the only reason that i'm able to do this here is because i have this feature turned on called link timeline and edit selection it's right here in the, my edit toolbar you can see it's called link timeline and edit selection what that does is whenever i make a edit selection there's an identical selection being made in my timeline and vice versa if i make a timeline selection there will be an identical edit selection made right in my edit playlist okay um, another way to enable link timeline and edit selection is simply just by going to options menu. As you will learn, um, when you want to enable and disable certain parameters in your session, oftentimes when you want to toggle stuff on and off, it's just going to be from the options menu. This is where you'll find most of those controls to just toggle certain quick parameters on and off, like link timeline and edit selection, which by default is enabled, but sometimes we'll hit something and turn that off and it becomes a real pain in the keister when that's turned off all right so we're gonna keep that turned on um i just like to set that like uh cool and then simply to make a loop i'm just gonna make a selection over a section that i want to repeat and then hit play 
Shout out to my man Wishmaster for this beat, all right? He got a bunch of beats up on his Beatstar page, and he got some new beats with hooks up uh, featuring Lydia Caesar, all right? So if y'all need some beats, some beats with hooks, y'all check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. But as you see, Pro Tools is going to continue to play back and loop my selection until I stop the playback, all right? Now, one thing that you... One thing that we also will notice is that while a loop is playing, you can make selections and make a different edits and all that stuff without ever stopping the playback of your loop, all right? So for example, if I just wanted to loop this section, once the playback has begun, I can go and make other selections elsewhere. I can modify my selection and it won't affect um, my loop section until I stop the playback. Cool. So that's loop playback. Pretty easy, pretty uh, simple to use. Let me show y'all real quick how we can actually use looping while we are recording. Okay. So of course, loop playback can be enabled from the options menu. So which menu would I go to to enable loop record? I'll wait. That's right. The options menu. You've won yourself a chance to hit like on this video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, so I'm just gonna go up to the options menu and I'm gonna choose loop record. Now, you know, Wavy is an editing ninja, okay? I'm the sensei of all Pro Tools users, okay? So I'm just gonna hit the number five uh, when it comes to enabling and disabling loop record. And as you see in my transport, yes, when I hit the number five on my numeric keypad, it will enable or disable uh, that loop recording. If you're using um, the alpha numeric keypad, maybe on your laptop or something, you don't have this numeric keypad, the number five won't work for you so what you can do is just uh, either go to the options menu or like we did with the loop playback option just hold the control key and click on the play but i'm sorry the record button to toggle all of the different uh record modes that you can use so i'm just holding the control key and i'm going through here until i get to the loop or of course the granny method you can right click on it and go down to loop okay once you have loop record enabled it's pretty simple um you make a selection again the same way just like you were going to do uh, loop playback you make a timeline selection and let me get my track uh up now this could be uh done really uh usefully let's say if i was recording a, a guitar solo or something like that that i wanted to do it a few times until i got the exact one um loop recording is a way to do that even if you're using midi you can loop record with midi as well so i'm going to go ahead and connect my microphone here and let's just see boom 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 i got a little little audio so let's just see what happens here i'm gonna hit record i got loop uh record enabled i got my track record enabled and let's just go ahead and record we actually probably need a little more gain on here just to be politically correct and here we go oh yeah here we go i'm about to go ahead and kick a crazy flow every time it goes back round in a loop <laughs> It gives me another chance to be goof. Uh, yeah, you know my freestyles are the truth. And I don't even need a booth. It's Wavy Wayne and I'm spitting on the track. And you know my bars and never whack. Yeah, peep this. If you stop before halfway, it will keep the entire last take. <laughs> I hope you saw that. But while you are loop recording, let me just go ahead and stop this. Why are you are loop recording, if you stop a loop record take before halfway of your selection, Pro Tools will automatically discard that top take and keep the last full take. Now, if you get past the halfway point in your selection, well, Pro Tools will keep that one as the main take. So you don't have to worry about hurry up and stopping at the end of a take. As long as you don't get halfway through the next take, you'll be good to save that last take, all right? Now, one more little piece I'm gonna give y'all, man, and this is the best part. So if you made it to this part of the video, then you about to learn some gems right now, okay? If, when you record, uh, when you loop record audio, Pro Tools actually creates one continuous file for all of the loop recorded takes, okay? But you can access all of those alternate takes. One way that I like to do this is just simply right click on the clip, yeah, I'm using the granny method. And then I'll go down to the matching alternates, right? And now when I go down to matching alternates, I can actually see alternates of 
uh, the loop that I have create that I've created now if you have a long sesh a session and you got a bunch of alternates here what you might want to do is first go to match criteria and I'm gonna go ahead and, and go and change my match criteria to only consider things or that are a match if they have the same track name and so let me close that and so I'll right click again go down to matching alternates and now what you see is only the loop recorded takes that I've recorded on this actual track that I should have named <laughs> but I did and so I'm just gonna go through let's say I want to audition and see which one of those takes were the best I can actually go through and see all of my matching alternates Pro Tools saved every single one of my loop recorded takes and I can go through and pick the best one or I can even expand these if I go to expand alternates to a new playlist which is another dope feature I can actually see all of my matching alternates and pick and choose the best pieces from each loop recorded take if you learned something from this video, make sure that you hit the thumbs up button, make sure you comment and subscribe, all right? And if you ever need professional mixing services or um, critiques on mixes that you've done, shoot me an email or visit my website, wavywayne.com, where you can also find custom recording and mixing templates to make your sessions a whole lot smoother and help you to improve your sound instantly, all right? This is your boy, Wavy to the Wayne. Sensei, the Pro Tools Pimp. Thanks for watching. Y'all continue to be dope.